there. Welcome to Musical.ly Yours. I'm Deirdre Malahe, introducing Canadian talent. And uh, let me start the show this way. There is life and then there is a song. And of course, we've got Roger Zaro on the show. Welcome to the show, Roger. Uh, it's my pleasure being here. Uh, and as always, we've, uh, we've done the radio show, now we're doing the television show. It's a wonderful thing to be in your company. Oh, same here. And of course, you've got a, a lifelong passion uh, regarding music. And uh, when did you start, Roger? Well, there's, I came to Canada from Poland in 1960. And about two, th about two or three years afterwards, there was a fellow. I've always enjoyed music. I, I think in, in 61, I... Uh, when I lived on Lakeshore in New Toronto, which is Lakeshore uh, and uh, Islington area, uh, there was a theater called Biltmore, and they ran se second, uh, seconds on movies. And about 61 or 62, I've seen um, uh, an Elvis movie, uh, and uh, and uh, I think one of his first ones, and uh, uh, Jayhouse Rock. And I just loved the music. I loved the attitude. I was just a young teenager at the time. It just fit in perfectly. And a few years later, uh, there was a fellow that was uh, uh, walking, uh, uh, canvassing the streets to sign up people for guitar lessons. And uh, I, don't, I don't know how I passed the test because he gave a test. And because my ear, my ear uh, I don't have a great ear. I'm not a great talent. But uh, later, I was able to write, so that compensates for that. But uh, I don't know how I passed it. I guess he needed to meet a quota. He signed me up. And I, I took guitar lessons, I think, in 63 for, uh, for about a year. And I was so bad at uh, playing the guitar. Oh. <laughs> so bad at it. Yeah, that, but not that, anymore. Then my guitar teacher quit. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, and um, I, I, do, I play well enough to, to write, write a song, and I've written some songs that have been on CBC and charted on university stations, and, um, and I play, uh, I played at Harborfront, Palais Royale, Benares Historic House in Mississauga, uh, places like that. The Yellow Cup I've been playing at on the East Mall, uh, the Albatross. If, in just there, a few other places like that, and I also ran a um, uh, songwriter showcase for three and a half years at a, lo a local bookstore. So uh, it's, it's all been interesting, sometimes a challenge, but it's always fun. And what's the genre, Roger, just before we watch you performing? Well, t today I think I'm just going to do some folk uh, type music, but I do a lot, a lot of my stuff is blues, as uh, I get some accolades for that. Uh, in Canada as well, in, in Spain, Europe, they would, uh, wrote several nice articles about my CDs. But uh, I'll do folk and blues and, and mostly regional stuff uh, about Toronto, Mississauga, where I was raised in, uh, in, uh, in, in, on Lakeshore. Uh, you know, I say race because I can't say grow up because songwriters never grow up. So <laughs> there you go. So we watch Roger Zero on Musical Yours. A city on the go, it's really my home, Toronto. There are global people here on every corner. When you're in Geo, you're never a foreigner. I walk on the boardwalk, or I walk on the beach. Up in Shin Tower, it's paradise out of reach. Here comes that rhyme, two different languages, one rhyme. Out on Roncevail, there's the finest kielbasa. Another part down, my amigo asks. Cape Bussa, how's that for rhyme, eh? You don't hear anywhere else but here. It's a famous, meaning place, a city on the go. It's where I live. My home, Toronto. I celebrate with my friends the Chinese New Year. Or I'm at the caravan hour down and forth. I spread the good cheer. In the autumn, in a beautiful white park, I jump a leaf pile, yes I do, just for lark. You know, we're not like buffalo, no, but when snow begins to fall, 
the mayor has a president. Yes, he does. He called the army. That's all. I guess he will. Yes, he will. Look, my wasn't he great. It's a famous, meaning place, a city on the go. Which way are you? My home, Toronto. No matter from where you may come. And maybe South Asia. Toronto's fantastic. Yeah.